Hello students. Now we'll solve the fifth question of exercise 2.6, and it is also about decimal multiplication. So, the sixth part is we'll multiply this. It will give us one six eight zero, and now we'll put the decimal three points towards the left. So one, two, and three. An answer will be one point six eight zero. Now this one, it will give us two hundred and fourteen. One zero seven multiplied with two, and there are four decimal places. So one, two, three, and four. So decimal point will come here. This place is vacant. So here we'll put a zero, and this is the answer of seventh part. Now in this one, we can write this as one zero zero five multiplied with one zero five divided with ten to the power four. Now the simplest way is that we write this as I am writing it here, one thousand plus five multiplied with hundred plus five. So now we will multiply these and it will give us ten to the power five plus five thousand plus five hundred plus twenty five. Now. It will be, it is five thousand, so we can put it here. This is five thousand and plus five twenty-five, and now it will be one zero five five two five. There are four decimal places, so we'll shift at this decimal towards left by four places, and answer will be ten point five five. Two five. Now in this one, it will be one zero one zero one. But when one zero one zero one multiplied with one, there are four decimal places. So we'll shift the decimal towards the left. One, two, three, and four. So answer will be one point zero one zero one. And now in the last part, after multiplication, it will become one one zero zero one one. And there are four three decimal places. So one, two, and three. So answer will be one one zero point zero one one. And this is how you can solve these type of questions. For any queries or doubts, kindly contact us on our YouTube channel, True Maths, and subscribe it for more videos. Thank you.